We did deliver solid results in Q2 in a challenging environment. And, and we did that by focusing on customers and continuing to manage the challenges that we see in our supply chains. And we, we delivered both sales and earnings per share uh, results that were above consensus. It was, I think, a solid quarter. We saw organic growth led by our healthcare and our safety and industrial business groups in the quarter. And if you exclude the year-over-year -year impact from disposable respirators, which is something we've been talking about all year as, as we come off the peak demand in, in 2021, and some of the impacts from uh, the COVID shutdowns in China, we had nearly 5% growth in the quarter. We are, as we look at the second half, we see strong demand across many of our end markets, although there is some softening in certain key areas and some uncertainty regarding the macro. And I, we've updated our guidance now largely due to the strength of the U.S. dollar that's impacting our EPS guidance and the macro uncertainty impacting uh, an, an update to our organic growth as well. Your adjusted earnings per share, you're now looking for $10.30 to $10.80 versus the earlier expectation of $10.75 to $11.25. Uh, foreign currency translation is now expected to be a headwind of about uh, down 4 percent versus down 1 percent before. But you also mentioned what was the softening in key areas. Where, where are you seeing that softening? Well, we're seeing it in some key end markets. We see the, uh, the outlook for demand in consumer electronics, particular smartphones, are now declining for the total year. We see some impact from uh, uncertainty in a couple other key end markets. We are seeing some positive signs in certain markets. We see automotive build rates improving as we get into the second half of the year. We're seeing uh, medical and oral care elective procedures improving. We're watching, I would say, retail spending closely as well. So it's it's the uh, end we're seeing the persistent impact of supply chain disruptions and inflation impacting us broadly. So it's a it is a combination of those things that has us, I would say, you know, uncertain about the macro environment and, and updating that growth outlook. Uh, Mike, with this point, to this point with inflation, you have had some pricing power. You've been able to raise prices to some extent to deal with the higher cost you've been faced with. Do, do you expect that to continue? What can you do about inflation at this point? Yeah, we have been executing disciplined pricing to manage inflation. We do expect that to continue. We're seeing inflation above what we had expected at the beginning of the year, and and now I've updated our range to. But we do we do expect still our our disciplined pricing and other actions to be able to offset that as we go forward. I also asked Roman about 3M spinning off its healthcare business. It's about creating more opportunity and greater certainty. And the opportunity comes from the announcement of our planned spin of our healthcare business, resulting in two world-class companies, a leading healthcare technology company globally, a global leader in material science innovation, leading in, in facing highly attractive end markets. Both businesses now positioned to grow and thrive. So it's really exciting about the opportunity there. We, uh, we are, you know, we are looking to unleash and, and really unlock value with this, with this announcement. Is, is it because you don't think the market is valuing you properly, that it's not giving you credit for both the healthcare unit and for your uh, traditional manufacturing? This is, this is really an outcome of our portfolio management. We actively manage our portfolio. It's something I talk to investors often about. It's a critical strategy for us. We use portfolio, active portfolio management to to really prioritize where we invest organically. We use it to decide where we make acquisitions. And importantly, we look continually at how to create the greatest value from our broader portfolio. Should we manage our businesses differently? We have taken actions to divest businesses. And now we look at it as, an, as really an opportunity to create value by standing up a standalone healthcare business. And interestingly and importantly, we have put a lot of focus on the healthcare business in our portfolio management, in our organic investments, in the acquisitions that we've executed, uh, a Celity and M modal in 2019, and also in the divestiture of our drug delivery business, and now the separation of our food safety business that we expect to complete here in the third quarter. So it's it's been a, a really a result of a careful consideration around that strategy. The leadership team, together with the board, really coming to the conclusion that the best way to create value is to spin our healthcare business. It's ready to be a successful standalone company. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.